Growing up, when, when, I, when, when I was in, in grade school and before grade school, uh, kind of set the parameter of, of, uh, of going to church and, and uh, believing in God and uh, doing the, the, the things that you should do. I grew up in the funeral industry and subsequently went to uh, mortuary school. In fact, here in Dallas, after I got married, getting in uh, the ambulance manufacturing business, as emergency care became uh, evident that it needed to be done at the time of the accident or the time of injury or illness or whatever, that that's when the healing process started, it was right then. They had to have a vehicle that could transport the, and take care of the patient en route to the hospital. So we designed this uh, box uh, on, on wheels, and it's, a, it's the same, essentially the same product that uh, the fire departments are using now. It became the largest ambulance manufacturer in the United States, and we were building and selling ambulances all over the world. So we were building uh, vehicles for Egypt and Saudi Arabia, Syria, uh, and it was uh, a fun time. That company was sold to a, uh, to a uh, conglomerate out of New York, and I was uh, amongst the unemployed, and that's when I went to work at Frank Parra because I'd been buying all my chassis from them for the ambulances. The first two weeks I was there, I will say this, I did not sell a vehicle. And even the owner was getting a little nervous. But then after it, it caught on, I, then I was there for 25 years. So it was, when he sold out to a national conglomerate and came, came out to, to Grapevine and went to work for the Durant family, which was the best move I ever made. It was another family owned operation and the Tom and Susan Durant are great owners, and they really believe in, their, in the in the com community that we are, that we operate in. Uh, you know, it's a it's a two way street. We get a lot of business from the community, so we try to give back to the community. Treating the customer like I want to be treated. There's there's there's, there's not a secret in selling anything. You've got to be yourself. You got to take care of your customer. You have to have a good product, and follow up. In fact, we were talking about that just this morning after our our uh, announcement that we were number one. The dealership was number one for the eighth year in a row, and our group was number one in commercial sales for the last seventh year in a row. And uh, uh, what we had to do. To, to keep improving. And it, it, it gets back to the same thing. You just gotta decide what you're gonna do, do it, and do it better than anybody else is doing it. Don't be enticed by everybody calling and saying, oh, I got the better deal for you, and this type of thing. The grass doesn't need greener on the other side of the street. You gotta make your make your stand and, and uh, build a following and stay with it. Whatever you like to do, whatever you want to do, whether it be in, in, in government or, or business or whatever, get in something that you like, that you enjoy, and enjoy it. If you do that, then whatever you're doing is going to be uh, very beneficial. I've got the opportunity with the Durants because they let me have the time to do that, even though it's building my business, it's building their business and then the whole thing. But, but it, it, they really believe in uh, working. It's not just, it's not just business. The, the driving force is to have the ability to be able to do it and to help others that uh, are less fortunate people working together for a common goal, whatever that goal is. And, and of course, Six Stones certainly has, uh, <laughs> they had one goal, now they got several goals, but 
but they're all worthwhile and they all fit in the community in, 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 different, in different areas. And that, that's why uh, Six Stones is, is one of my very favorite organizations to work with. I think they need to look at everybody around them, look at, look at the, the situation that, that their organization is in and see what they can do to better improve the area that they're working in and do, do more for the community and, and make it better because everything can be better. That's what this whole thing's all about, I think. Is whatever you do, enjoy it. And do it good to the best of your ability.